Before the 1960s, neonatal care looked very different. With no way to ventilate their breathing, premature babies often didn't make it. That's until Dr. Mildred Stallman revolutionized the field, creating the first NICU with monitored respiratory therapy right here in Nashville. The former Vanderbilt doctor died late last month at the age of 101, but her legacy lives on through the first baby she saved and the nurses and doctors she inspired. I would not have survived. No, there, there's no doubt. In 1961, Martha Lott was born at Vanderbilt about two months early. She had respiratory distress syndrome since her lungs weren't fully developed. Dr. Mildred Stallman had a grant to study this condition, then known as highline membrane disease. She asked Lott's parents if they would be willing to put her in a prototype infant ventilator, similar to an iron lung. She'd done a lot of pulmonary research in Sweden and had been working with an engineer here to make a baby-sized polio machine. And they put me in that baby-sized polio machine and she parked by the bedside for four days and it worked and I'm still here. And she's still here, working as a nurse at the same hospital and NICU where her life was saved by Dr. Stallman, who became Lot's godmother. Dr. Stallman was a force of nature. She was passionate. She was always a researcher and always looking for new ways to benefit babies. She was a tiny person, but she was a powerhouse. <laughs> On her first day working as a nursing assistant in the Vanderbilt NICU in 1969, Odessa Settles met Dr. Stallman. So I was coming out of uh, desegregation during that particular time. So to meet a woman who was in a field that was predominantly male was interesting because in that sense she was also a minority and she became, in my opinion, one of the best physicians ever. Settles retired as a nurse practitioner in pediatric pulmonary medicine in 2023 after 54 years at Vanderbilt. She was part of the first ever angel emergency transport for preterm babies in Middle Tennessee. They converted an old bread truck into an intensive care unit on wheels. It became the prototype for many other transport systems in the country, but we would go out to the rural hospitals, stabilize infants, bring them back to Vanderbilt's nursery. Settles was one of hundreds of nurses and doctors who trained under the legendary Dr. Stallman. She didn't start out to be a pioneer, but she was. Dr. Stallman and Settles weren't only colleagues. They were close friends who traveled the world together. Settles went to visit Dr. Stallman just 10 days before her passing. I talked about how we worked together and did research. And then she also said, I think I'll take a nap now. And when I awaken, we'll figure out where we're going next. That's what she would always say when we travel. It's been a joy knowing her. I'm going to miss her a lot. Dr. Stallman was born and raised in Nashville. She received her undergraduate and medical degrees from Vanderbilt University. To read more about her many achievements, you can find this story on WKRN.com.